Okay, I've had a question about these old Honeywell fan and limit switches. Now, just a little uh, background on them. The fan switch is between here and here, uh, right there, and the limit switch is here. We're got, not going to be dealing with the limit switch this time. Uh, let me get you in a little closer. The limit switch is on the bottom there where it says 200. Okay, that's the limit switch there. And it can't go any higher than 200. It can go a little bit lower. They're usually set about there at that 200 number. It's actually really not 200. It's about 180, 190. Uh, but there is a problem if you put a new one of these things in. Uh, if you don't set the fan on and off switches, which are these two right here, if you do not set those the right distance apart, then the unit will short cycle or the fan won't shut off. So I'm going to go ahead, right now it is set uh, to start. Okay, it looks like it's 110 on and 90 degrees off. And now I'm going to set the pointers too close together and get it to short cycle. Okay, I've got the burner on. This thing is heating up. I've got this thing at four times normal speed, so it moves a lot faster than it will uh, under normal conditions. But just for brevity, I decided to do that and the fan has just come on and we can see it's cooling down very quickly and it's probably going to shut itself off there it went ahead and shut itself off and this makes for short cycling the burners are going to stay on but the fan is going to go on and off It'll probably do this one to three times before it stays on continuously and now I've reset the temperature for 130 on and 100 off, and let's see how it operates now. Okay, it's going up, just turned on, and it looks like it's going to continue going up a little bit. Now it's settling down because the heat exchanger is warm enough for it the fan to stay on continuously. Okay, to summarize, we should be about 30 degrees different on our uh, temperatures for on and off. I wouldn't put it below about 100 degrees for off. Uh, if you put it below about 100 degrees, it's liable to stay on all the time, especially in the summer. Uh, but be sure and keep those things pretty well separate. And when you install one of these things, be sure you check, be sure the limit works okay. And run the fan cycle up and down a couple of times to make sure it works okay. Also be sure that the fan does not start up after it's shut off, when the cycle is off. Uh, there should not be enough heat and heat exchanger for it to come back on again. And that's it for the fan and limit.